And we're joined once again now by Bo Van Pelt. And Bo, um, I'm calling this show Master's Eve. Uh, it is near 11 p.m. Uh, obviously, you're not teeing off early in the morning, but uh, preparation's all done, man. Uh, you're getting ready to go to bed. So tell us your thoughts before you hit that pillow. You know, I'm excited. Um, you know, I haven't played that great the last couple weeks, but, uh, you know, I'm, you know, Masters Week is a special time for all of us players. And, you know, I, I just absolutely love this place and um, just excited the opportunity. You know, it's, a, it's such a tough tournament to get into and it's such a great tradition. And, um, you know, I had a great Sunday last year and uh, just look forward to the opportunity tomorrow. Um, you know, my coach Mark Wood and I have gotten some good work in the last couple of days and, and part of last week when I was home. I uh, didn't play San Antonio, so, you know, game feels good, um, and just looking forward to, you know, getting out there and getting after it. Your best finish ever was two years ago, um, and you came in with a very similar record to where you are right now in terms of, uh, you know, the tournaments leading into the Masters. Do you feel like the work that you've put in have put you in a place where, where you're feeling really good? You know, I hope so. Um, obviously, I feel like I know the golf course really well just from, you know, having the experience of making the cut the last two years and having some good numbers. Um, but, you know, you got to go out there and execute. And I uh, feel like we've hit upon some things. And, you know, just getting back to the fundamentals that have, you know, led to my consistency the last couple of years. Um, you know, I just felt like I kind of got out of that a little bit uh, on the West Coast and um, just kind of lost my way, uh, so to speak. So we've just been trying to get back to the same fundamentals that, you know, have led to my consistency. So uh, definitely excited about the opportunity. And, um, you know, the golf course is in great shape. And, you know, I think just when you get in majors and you get in Augusta, you know, everything just gets heightened. You know, you're you're more excited. Your attention's better. You just, you know, you want to really showcase and uh, play well at such a great venue. Hey, Bo, if, if people don't know that you're a family man, people don't know Bo Van Pelt. Talk about the day today with the par three and the family atmosphere. Well, it was great. You know, two years ago, my three kids, Olivia, Trace, and Crew, got to caddy, um, and we had a great time. And you know, last year was was disheartening. You know, we, uh, you know, Mother Nature uh, played a pretty pretty good trick on us. We were the next group to tee off, and lightning came in, and uh, obviously I had to cancel that. So there were you know some disappointed uh, kids and a disappointed dad that we didn't get to do it again. And, um, so we were you know had our fingers crossed all year that we would get some good weather on this Wednesday and. You know, we got a fantastic day um, and had a great time. Played with Brian Gay and DA Points and Brian's oldest daughter and, and my daughter are good friends and um, just couldn't have had a better time out there. And uh, the kids were running around having a good time. They were all well behaved and we were smiling and high fiving and all of us made some birdies and uh, it was just, uh, just a great memory. Hey, Bo, last thing. Um, you mentioned excitement. Um... How do you balance it? I mean, you're a pro's pro, but how do you balance it, you know, not getting yourself too excited for that tea time tomorrow? Well, I think, you know, you just got to know that, hey, you're going to have good holes and bad holes, and there's some holes that you hit a good shot and you can make a bogey or worse, and um, you, just try to, you just try to stay patient. I think that's the biggest thing. It's the hardest part for all of us is you want to play great right now. Um, you want to play great on the first hole and the second hole, and um, you know, even the best rounds we've all shot doesn't mean we start out birdie in the first four or first five. You know, sometimes you bogey the first couple holes and yet, you know, you still have a great round. So I think it's that patience and just understanding that it's going to be a long week. And um, if you can manage yourself around the golf course, there's a certain way to play Augusta National. And um, you just have to play from the right spots. And you try to, you try to be patient. You try to be focused because, you know, any shot – can jump up and grab you here. You know, you just have to, you can't relax for a minute uh, from a mental standpoint. And so I think that's the biggest thing is try to be patient and try to really keep your focus. Hey, Bo, be patient, keep your focus. We'll look forward to talking to you after a good round tomorrow. Sounds great, Tom. Thanks. All the best, man.